Hi. Now we are going to cover over these next three videos what it means to have the Blessed Mother in our lives for living in the power of the Holy Spirit. The Blessed Mother Mary is the spouse of the Holy Spirit. She was full of grace. Being full of grace means she was full of the Holy Spirit and the activities of God that helped her be holy. As the spouse of the Holy Spirit, she is our best and primary guide and example of what it means to live in the power of the Holy Spirit. Think about everything that you know from Scripture about Mary. Her ability to trust and be at peace when the angel Gabriel said to her, you know, behold, you are going to bear a child. And she says, how can this be? It wasn't, how can this be? Oh no, you know, oh my gosh, I can't do this, not me. Or, you know, it's just impossible. Oh no, oh no. She was filled with the grace that comes from the Holy Spirit. And she wants to share that grace with us. And whatever seems impossible, if Mary knows God wants it, then Mary will help us live it. If we know how to have that kind of relationship with her. Many years ago, I discovered just how much Mary wants to be involved in our lives. Ralph and I attended a conference, a charismatic conference, very Holy Spirit filled. And the theme of the conference was do whatever he tells you. The words of the Blessed Mother at the wedding at Cana. I didn't know it at the time, but the Blessed Mother was setting the stage for Ralph and me to begin Good News Ministries. At that conference, we heard a speaker named Charlie Osborne who had founded Good News Ministries School of Catholic Evangelization in Pensacola, Florida. And after hearing him speak, Ralph and I felt called by the Holy Spirit to go to the school in Pensacola. And that was the foundation, us making that decision, began our journey into founding Good News Ministries of Tampa Bay, which is providing these videos that you've been watching. See, Mary called us to this. Mary calls all of us to do whatever Jesus tells us to do. Mary teaches us how to live in the power of the Holy Spirit because she guides the way. She says, do whatever he tells you. Do whatever my son Jesus tells you. Because in doing that, we live in the power of the Holy Spirit. Jesus said he does not leave us orphaned. He does not abandon us. Whatever he tells us to do, whatever he calls us to, he gives us his own Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God, to guide us, teach us, and empower us. We can live in the power of the Holy Spirit because we too have grace in our lives. Grace freely given to us by God. And the more we develop a relationship with Jesus and grow in holiness with the help of the Holy Spirit, the more this grace fills our lives. And Mary helps us with that. Mary wants to help you too. She wants to share her spouse, the Holy Spirit, with you. You know, when we have a, a friend, whether it's a spouse or a best friend who, who is really awesome, really good, you know, really kind to others, really helpful, don't we like to share that friend with others? Don't we like to say, oh, I understand the problem you've got and I know somebody who can really help with that. Well, that's what Mary does with us. She's calling you to follow Jesus and do whatever he says, and she's going to help you live in the power of her spouse, the Holy Spirit. 